Okay, I thought I'd do a second video for today. See what other energies I can tap into. So let's hop right in. Messiah, light attributes serving humanity, humanity with humility and the shadow is exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed. Let's see, what aspect of the Messiah are we going to go with here? What other energies can you share with the spirit? Priest, mm -hmm. king, oh my, here we go, lover, <laughs> why do I do this to myself, damsel, all right, collective, this is a masculine, this is the divine masculine, I already know, oh my gosh, do we really have to do this? Excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint is the shadow for the king. And then we have lover, obsessive, obsessive passion that harms others, self-destructive devotion. And we have damsel waiting for a knight to provide for you seduction by romantic illusion. So the last video that I did that I just posted it captured your energy collective of walking away closing doors to the past um, there was a queen of wands in your energy a mature woman a mature man who are losing pretty much everything that was the divine masculine i just didn't want to focus on that dynamic too much in the uh video so I thought I'd do another one, and here he is. He's showing up. Um, this is shadow aspects. They are not digging your rejection at all. So, yeah, behind priest we have student, and then we have vampire and shapeshifter and engineer. They're going to try to engineer something, okay? This divine masculine is going to try to engineer something so that they can turn you into this damsel, right? And then come in with this messiah complex almost. At, yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, let me just keep going. I cannot, I can feel my blood, like, <laughs> I'm getting irritated. I don't like this energy. I don't like this energy. Okay, we've got Prince or Messiah. Let's see, what do we get for King? I don't like this. Mediator and Judge. King, mm -hmm. prostitute, Ugh. lover, let's clarify, lover, engineer, monk, nun, scribe, athlete, and detective. This is interesting. Monk nun is clarifying lover, negative judgment of the physical world, excess piety, scribe, altering facts or plagiarizing others, work, athlete, misuse of athletic ability for selfish ends, detective, Great powers of observation and intuition. 
And then we have voyeurism, falsifying information, engineer. So this masculine could be thinking of ways, this masculine, this former lover, however you want to take this energy, who is embroiled in some drama elsewhere, but they're not happy, you're not interested in in them, period. You're not interested in their drama. You're not in interested in their life. So they are trying to find a way of digging up some sort of dirt, something to cause, they're up to some mischief, okay? They're up to something. I don't know what it is exactly, but with this athlete card, force could be involved. I'm going to clarify all of these. Let's see, why is Messiah here? I'm getting chills right now. This is just too much. I'm irritated. Queen of Pentacles, Emperor, Messiah. Let's clarify, why is Messiah here? Eight of Wands, Empress, Ace of Wands. Messiah. Serving humanity with humility is the light attribute. Like I read earlier, the shadow is exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed. You are the empress. Okay. This ace of wands and this eight of wands, there is something coming towards you very fast. Okay. Something is coming towards you very fast. Could be this prince, could be this king, right? This ex-lover, former lover. So I'm going to put those there. What's at the bottom? Two of swords. Behind two of swords, we've got the devil. Oh my gosh. Page of wands. Okay. Oh, y'all. All right, I'm about to, um, no, no, we about to see what this shit is right here, because, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, chill. King, why is this king here? Uh Ten of Wands. This overly burdened king, seven of swords. What did I tell y'all? Seven of swords, nine of cups. So this king, this masculine right here is on some BS. He is on some BS right here. And he's got his eye on you, Empress. He's got his eye on you. He's up to no good. He's up to no good. Why is lover here? Imagine, magician, hierophant behind that. Three of swords, ace of swords. So this could be that, you know, it doesn't matter what this fool does. It really doesn't because anything that this, this goofball tries to throw your way, it's gonna be blocked. But even so, be aware that this is, this is, uh, I don't even know what the fuck. <sighs> Twin flame shit, Hierophant. Like I said in a previous, previous, previous reading, this is my twin flame card in this deck because you've got the main the overall energy if you will and then you've got the two here the twins here that are bound so this masculine this king <sighs> mm. 
they're not going to take no for an answer and it's not going to matter what kind of drama they have they don't care they literally feel like you're bound and like there's nothing that you can do to get away to walk away to end this relationship in this earthly plane so they're in a little bit of um I don't know what this is, honestly, but I'm what I'm feeling is very intense and I got a lot of pressure in my forehead and behind my eyes and it's moving into my throat. Oof. Damn so. Four of Wands, clarifying damsel. Damsel, Ten of Pentacles behind that, Queen of Swords behind that, Hermit. So they could see you as the Queen of Swords right now, very harsh. You're not entertaining them. You might still be in Hermit mode. This is the Emperor right here. Yep, Six of Swords coming towards you fast. Yep no longer wanting to be in separation so they're gonna try to try to get back into your energy by force mm -mm -mm. okay prince prince knight of swords Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and Eon Realization, Two of Cups. They realize that you're their soulmate. They regret all of their past misdeeds. They feel you are their destiny. They are pissed the hell off that you are not interested in this passionate new beginning that they feel is destined they feel this four of wands is destined and yeah mediator why is mediator here we've got three of cups clarifying mediator and this knight of cups so we've got two cards with the cups water cancer spice Cancer, spicy, <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, clarifying, mediator. So they want to come in with some kind of gesture, offer of love in hopes of trying to at least open, open up, open up the connection again, because the connection is closed. It's closed and it's got them completely out of balance, this King of Cups energy, Four of Swords, they're sick, Eight of Swords, the Moon, Page of Swords, so they're watching you, they're out of balance, they're hiding an illness that they feel might literally take them off planet, there's a sense of desperation here with this full card. Monk nine. This is sad. I don't like this shit. Sad. Here goes this Queen of Wands again. Queen of Wands clarifying Monk nine. Negative judgment of the physical world. Queen of Wands, clarifying, and then we've got her beneath the magic and lover. So you've got another energy, and then we've got this Nine of Swords, and this Page of Pentacles, and this Eight of Cups, and this Knight of Wands. So the masculine walked away from this Queen of Wands, who's been doing magic on you, and now she's back in her damn crazy-ass energy, because he's, he's gone, he's left her, and he's coming trying to come back toward you but i think if there's been any effort you have rejected that and so you got two energies right now collective 
that really don't mean you well. And they both could be under judgment with this judgment card here. And as we've said or seen in other readings, investigation. Hmm. Why is let's get another card for this Queen of Wands with the monk nun. Hey, when they fall and it's in reverse. Up. Oh, yep. King of Wands in reverse. What I say? Tower. <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. Okay. 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 Six of Wands behind that. So the King of Wands, who is this damn king here, right? Who is hot on your on your trail has left this Queen of Wands in a state of fury as well. So you have two furious energies collective that are hovering. So <laughs> this isn't this okay never mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm a bit demented myself, so I don't, I, you know, I shouldn't find this funny at all, but <laughs> it's funny as hell to me, scribe, <laughs> scribe here. Oh my God, these crazy people. <laughs> crazy people. Oh my gosh. Four of Swords is clarifying scribe with the Six of Pentacles and Six of Cups. So we've got two sixes, and then we've got the fortune behind that, and seven of cups. So, and then we have strength behind this seven of cups. Okay, so we've got the queen of wands here. That's uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, right? And then we've got the king of wands that's in reverse, okay? Then we've got, hold on, I'm, I've lost. Okay, we've got the lovers above that with the magician okay so then here with the seven of cups the delusion is gaining strength okay the delusion not the magic the magic is backfiring and it's strengthening the delusion on their end these two knuckleheads right here that won't leave you alone so yeah and it could be actually slowing them down a bit it could be slowing them down a bit with this Four of Swords. This is some weird ass shit right here, boy. Woo. Oh, wait. Behind Fortune, we've got, nope, Seven of Cups, Lovers, Strength, Lovers, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, Hierophant again with the Ten of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is definitely going to be my last reading today because I don't uh, know. This is whack a doodle. Whack a doodle. Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups. Destiny. Art. Five of Cups. So this masculine is tripping. He's, 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 he's on some stuff right now. I don't know what the hell, but, or this queen of wands even could be doing this magic against him because he, he didn't, he's left, he's gone. He's, he's left her in the dust. So she could be casting some spells onto him. Hmm. But he sees you as his destiny. He's not going to take no for an answer. And right now he is deep, deep into some other things, other dramas, which is just is what makes this thing so, I mean, the twin flame journey, because this is what this is right here, is a wackadoodle ass journey anyway. It just, it never makes any sense. Not if you try to look at it from a um, a regular 3D lens. It just, it's impossible to do because they do, it's, you're dealing with 
energy and this energy is connected to your energy and it can't be severed so I don't know, just pay attention to your surroundings. Don't allow yourself to be forced into anything. Spirit has your back for sure. So whatever it is that these, whatever scheme this is that's being reevaluated, re-engineered, maybe they're even learning or trying to learn some new magic with this student and this vampire and this shapeshifter, and this priest, and then this goddess behind that. So they could they could have a whole new magic crew on the payroll for just, you know, just to try to disrupt your flow because new doors are opening for you. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with this reading. I'll see y'all in the next 